Hey, welcome back to Memo's Tech Tips. I'm Kevin Camilo, and this is my second unboxing on my whole little unboxing spree I got going on here. I just did the VPN. Uh, watch that video. I'm going to post a link somewhere around here or in the description down below. And I'm going to unbox now. That was the Cisco VPN router, and this is going to be the Cisco uh, Wi-Fi wireless access point. And this is actually a new access point from Cisco. So, well, you have to think about Wi-Fi. So many variables. Forget about it. And when you're in an office setting, in a business setting, you can't just go to Staples or, or on Amazon or whatever and just get yourself a regular home Wi-Fi. That's not how it works. So many times I go into businesses and they're running home wi-fi routers okay home wi-fi in a business setting okay that's not how it's done there's a reason why there's business wi-fi okay security signal strength uh sorry my dog is eating his food um what was that security signal strength features okay you have so many features um, to prevent, uh, you know, people from accessing the Wi-Fi um, that's not in a home setting, okay? Because when you're home, yeah, you have some security, but this, you have like a firewall, but this one has like firewall plus like triple encryption, okay? And, oh my God, this is like beautiful. This thing is, damn it, which one am I unboxing? I, I almost, I'm like forgetting which one I'm unboxing. This is the... This is the Cisco, I want to say Air AP1852i. And this is an 802.11 AC Wave 2, 4x4. And uh, yeah, this is all it says in the box. Uh, so Wave 2 is actually the new standard for the 802.11 AC. There was Wave 1 which is still relevant, is still going on. And this is wave number two. Uh, if you want, I, I really can't go into what the differences are, but uh, definitely speed and, man, this thing is heavy, and uh, reliability. And so here's the box. There really was no, really no protection, no like, uh, no foam. It was just in the box. Okay, sure. This thing is heavy though. Um, it's nice, it's white, okay? So this one can be either mounted in the ceiling or on the wall, right? So like, let's say mounted on a wall, a oh, 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 little bit lower for the camera. All right, so it looks pretty nice, okay? But definitely a ceiling, you know, in the middle of the office will be is, is ideal location. Um, let's see what we got also got in here. Got so many things today, guys. Got mounting brackets for the ceiling. That's what it's for. There's the other mounting bracket. More mounting brackets and so this goes on here. Boom, this goes on the on the ceiling, and this goes on the mounting bracket. And oh yeah, this doesn't come with the adapter. Because this, well, you could put an AC adapter on this, but this is also power over Ethernet. Very good. So basically, you run one Ethernet cable. Okay, you just got to make sure your switch or your or your router has PoE, and you plug it on to the Ethernet here. I think that's the air conditioner going off, uh, or the heater. Uh, you plug it on. Boom. That's it. It's powered. Uh, this. I think it's, it's how many volts for PoE? Uh, I think it's, I don't know, 48 volts. I think that's what it says. And we have a USB and uh, auxiliary, PoE and console. And then uh, what you can do f from this, because this is PoE also, like that has three ports. Uh, you can hook up another ethernet on this and run it, let's say if it's a really big office, you don't have to run from the switch to one second one. So you could daisy chain off this one. Boom, boom, you know. So 
less work for you um so that's good but i'm only going to run one on here this thing is like i, I gotta pull up the specs on this i should have done that before the unboxing i'm not i'm not uh i'm not linus i'm not professional over here so look, bear with me i'm just a regular old guy i do my job let's see what we got here uh so there's also one that you could put uh and external antennas on again depends on the size of the business of your coverage that you're trying to cover you gotta you gotta take a few things to into account how many walls are in the way what type of wall do you have okay this is this is a hollow she rock wall it's not gonna impede the signal that much okay but if you live in an old construction building like brick or cement or if you live in a sky or or or, or your business is in a skyscraper you got to remember that metal, like the, the support beams inside the wall, interfere with that. Wires inside the wall. Uh, you have um, machinery. So, like, this is like a dental office. So you, have, uh, uh, you have a lot of machines going on that could create, you know, things in the air that just mess up the signal. Uh, microwaves. You know, it's a little microwave. Big deal. That's really nothing to, for this. And... Um, what else? Other Wi-Fi's, of course. Other Wi-Fi. So this is a complex. We're in a complex. So you have an office above us, office next to us over there, and forget about it. The there's like at least a hundred units in this complex alone. All these Wi-Fi signals are like inundated. Where's my? I don't know. I'm using my phone to to uh, to record. But like, let's say if I use the. Let's see how many signals I'm getting. Just on just on um, from this little workstation that I have that has Wi-Fi. I'm getting one, two, three, four, five, six. I, I think that's, it only shows me six. Maybe I'm getting more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six other Wi-Fi signals, okay? Six others plus, um, and those are the ones that it's like actually reading. There's, there's, there's probably other ones that are getting through, but it's not strong enough to show on the computer because it's only it, it goes by signal strength. Um, and then the two that are in the office, uh, for this office. Um, so you can set up, I think it's like, you can set up like 10. Let me see. I'm trying to get the specs on this. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, four by four Mimo. And of course this is 2.4 and five gigahertz. Um, uh, trying to get oh 1.7 gigabits per second uh i think that's total 1.7 gigabits per second total this is way too much information on this damn data sheet but this is that from the 1850 series uh 802.11 ac wave 2 specifications um brand new just came out supports wave 1 and wave 2 of course it's backwards compatible um, I'm trying to actually see what I'm trying to get is the actual, I, I remember I had it before. What if I like type it in here? Then that'll be so much freaking easier. Yeah. 1850. Um, yeah. So... On the 2.4 gigahertz band is 250, 217 megabits per second. I think that's for this one. 1850 series. Might be wrong though. Products and services. Uh, I want access points, wireless, internal access points. Uh, all products. Oh, compare. Here we go. So wave two. So they have the eighteen thirty series. Um, they have the uh twenty eight the eight the eighteen fifty series, the twenty eight hundred series, and the thirty eight hundred series. So they have so many uh options, 
depending, it goes from small business to mid-size, from mid-size to large enterprise that require advanced features. Okay, so this one is the only one that I saw that had um, uh, intern, like the other ones have external, well, they come in both, internal and external antennas. I didn't need the external antennas, that would have been more money. Um, this comes with four internal, I wanna say four, four by four, so. I think that's four or eight. I think that's eight internal. Um, uh, beam forming technology, um, access point, office extended, blah, blah, blah. backwards compatibility, lifetime warranty, which is all, all very also very good, um, and 1.7 gigabits per second on the five gigahertz band, and I think 200 and something on the 2.4 gigahertz band. So. You know, I'm going to test this out. Hopefully, I make a video about it. On to the next unboxing. Thank you guys very much. Uh, this is pretty... I mean, it's heavy. It's heavier than I thought it would be. This... Uh, be before I go, this is actually... It's heavy because it has like a metal... This is all metal here. And it, and it's like... A, it's like a heat, a heat sink. It, th all this is a heat sink. It's very cool. This is all metal. This is plastic. The top is plastic. Probably because... You could take it out and put some and put like antennas. But this metal. I don't know what type of metal, but it's metal. And it's it's fins because he sinks. That way the air pa passes through it, cools it off. Because if you get enough people on this thing, um it gets very hot. Uh again, thank you very much for watching. Rate, subscribe, like, dislike, leave a comment down below, watch the other videos support man support and uh yeah leave, leave a comment i try to answer all the comments i can uh 99.9 percent .9 of the time because i get it on my phone boom i reply on, on uh to it and uh yeah i'm gonna test this out hopefully i mean well, not hopefully i know this is gonna be freaking amazing because i already saw the reviews on it and everybody says it's amazing thank you guys have a good one peace